everybody it's finally here neely henry home lake bassmaster elite series by far the biggest tournament i'll probably ever fish on this body of water uh been really looking forward to it since i saw it on the schedule but we're going to run through practice really quick got to talk about the conditions a little bit how mother nature affected it and we'll talk about day one and how the turn of the tournament and how it went and where we ended up so practice was basically a wash for me in a way because of all the weather that came in monday was normal tuesday around mid-morning it started raining and it seemed like it rained until wednesday at 5 a.m a lot of water got dumped in the area right there even north of gadsden and what happened was the water fell on the lower end uh the water went or rose came up on the upper end it's a really unique thing that happens um in the minnesota bend area it kind of backs up and i knew it was going to take the fish a while to adjust i didn't know how long it would take but i knew if a guy could figure something out you know like how the fish had just started setting up they could probably run with it for a day or two until the water conditions changed again which always happens on a river system i don't care where you're at there's always it's always changing especially when you have a lot of rain and water coming in so Day one of the tournament is postponed because of high water around the gas area. It just wasn't going to be a good situation with us launching. Most of the docks were underwater at that point, and we thought if we could give it enough time until Friday, it might come down. Uh, it's still rising on day one, postponed day Thursday. Um, I stayed in my camper at River Rocks Landing, and I was actually watching the water conditions, and they were changing by the hour. Like You could actually see the water rising um, as the day would go by. So get the call friday we're going fishing it's going to be a four-day tournament last day is going to be on a monday originally game plan is for me to run down the lake i'm going to throw top water crank a little bit on some shallower flatter stuff try and catch spotted bass mainly um you know i thought if you got lucky and got a couple really key bites you could have a good day down there uh you know go up to the boat ramp for blast off and i have a little mark on a bridge column and I saw that the water had actually fell some up there in the, you know, the Gadsden area. And I, I, I had a, a gut feeling about I need to go check some grass fish just in case with that water falling a little bit, it's how it'll have them set up right. Uh, so I ended up doing that. I made a game time decision. I ran up to this area and I get in there and I get a couple bites really fast on a swim jig and none of them, you know, really commit to it. I don't catch any of them. And I made a swap to a, a hollow bellied frog. And I think I caught one, uh, a decent one, missed a couple, caught another one, you know, pecked around in this one area, didn't have a whole lot of company, um, ended up catching a limit out of this one place, uh, a decent limit, 12 or 13 pounds. Then I just kind of went running around trying to, you know, figure out what stage the fish were in or how the water had them set up. Just, just running basically some history stuff, uh, but still trying to figure out a pattern with what was going on at that certain time. Was able to actually make a few key calls late in the day. I think I called up twice after 12 o'clock. And we got up to our final weight of day one was 14-1. Uh, wasn't leading, but it jumped into the top 10. We were in ninth place. Uh, really can't complain because I didn't really know how that I was going to catch them the way I did. Uh, it was Like I said, it was a gut feeling. I kind of just wanted to go check this i knew it wouldn't take 30 to 45 minutes to fish and i would know if i needed to continue fishing that way and you know fortunately enough i got some pretty quick feedback on how the fish were setting up and what was going on and i was just able to run with that in that area and then kind of trying to expand on it as the day went on he is from springville alabama let's welcome out west logan all right west. we've had two 15 pound bags in a row let's see what you have five in your bag Looks like a good day for West, too. Five fish. Worth 14 pounds in an ounce, all the way up to sixth place for Alabama angler West Logan. Okay. Starting to see some bags cross the stage. There you go. 14 1 for West Logan. Sixth place right now. Well, there you go. Seems like a pretty good day. Yeah, I mean, I'll take it after the practice I had and everything that's changing out there. I mean, I'm just, I'm running around. If I see something I like, I'll go fish it. Something I've caught some on before. And, I mean, I don't know if I'll catch any tomorrow or where I'll go. I might run all my gas out of a boat. I don't know. We'll see. But hopefully I can get a couple more good bites and uh, go fishing on, is it Sunday? 
Yeah, we'll be good day now, yeah. Day three. Safe to say day three, right? Whatever day that may fall on, but a good job. Sixth place right now, Wes Logan. So our day one weight was 14-1. We're sitting in ninth place. Not to say that's exactly where we want to be, because obviously you want to be in first, but obviously well within striking distance of the leader. Um, I think 16-15 was leading almost 17, but that's okay. I mean, this is a this is a marathon. This isn't a sprint. I mean, it's this is the first quarter. There's gonna be the second quarter. You just I just want to make it to the final day to where because I know anything can happen uh, on that lake. You know, somebody can have a special day, but you have to be there on championship day to have a chance to win. Um, but with that being said, you could see it as day one was going on. The water conditions were changing literally by the hour. I mean, it's the same thing they've been doing since the weather system rolled in. So you're going to have to adjust and see what happens on day two. And hopefully we can catch them again. And we'll see you guys next time. Thank you.